Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. For sure, for sure. Uh, the atmosphere was crazy. Our fans were amazing. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I love this. Your expectations and what that means to this team and this city. The expectation is to win. Um, we're coming out here, we're a young, hungry group, and we want to win every night. So uh, we're excited to be there, but we're not just complacent being there. We want to win. So we'll uh, celebrate this one tonight, pack. We got to leave tomorrow and uh, get ready to play the New York and Milwaukee. Last night, the... Indiana Pacers went up against the Boston Celtics in which they upset the Boston Celtics last night. And they are on the way to Las Vegas to be to continue in the in-season tournament. And it was a performance led by you know who, Tyrese Halliburton. He had a triple-double last night. 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 13 assists. Meanwhile, you got this other point guard who they were former teammates when they both got drafted. And De'Aaron Fox and the Sacramento Kings, who they lost to the New Orleans Pelicans, and they lost their chance to get to go to Vegas, in which the Pelicans are going to Vegas. And De'Aaron Fox finished with 30 points. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about who would y'all rather start a franchise with? Tyrese Halliburton or De'Aaron Fox? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we'll be back and get with another video. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute, especially what I've been seeing for Tyrese Halliburton. Lord have mercy. Yo, I said a couple videos ago, we got to really have a discussion. Is he the best point guard in the NBA right now? I mean, this set speaks for itself, but the way he is like elevating the game. At the, at the point guard position in basketball. He is really like, it's like he's showtime. Now, he's not that level of magic in it, but what he's doing right now is 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 bringing more, more elevation to the game, especially for the Indiana Pacers. He's putting the Indiana, Indiana Pacers on the map. Now, don't get me wrong. De'Aaron Fox did the same thing with the Sacramento Kings, especially last year. Sacramento Kings had the loudest crowd in the NBA by far now. When they got to the playoffs, they put the they they literally, you know, put a little scarcity in the Golden State Warriors. Now Curry had had a, a amazing performance in game seven to for for them to, to prevail versus the Sacramento Kings. But De'Aaron Fox was amazing that whole series. He was amazing last year and he's been really good this year. But there's a difference between being a point guard that can really elevate players to their next level, really make players around them better, and then a scoring point guard who can get buckets and really change the game in that aspect and take over the game when he needs to. Derek Fox is number two. What I just said, Tyrese Harlenberg is number one. He makes players around him better. You see what Obi Toppin is doing on this team. You see what Aaron Sneesmith is doing on his team. Benedict Matherin is still trying to find his stroke together, but he'll get it going. And you see how him and Miles Turner pick a roll action is going crazy. He he's making things, making players around him better. He's elevating the, the whole team. The whole team is fired up. The, the crowd is into it. Tyrese has really changed the franchise in the Indiana Pacers so far. And we are we are early in the season. But them to, to first time going to in season tournament ever invented the first time this ever invented this year, and they, they are in it. They're going to Vegas. Nobody thought they would upset the Boston Celtics to do that. Tyrese Halliburton did it, and the rest of the team. But the rest of the team flows when Tyrese Halliburton flows, 
And you know how he's facilitating the ball. I mean, he just he just brings more excitement to the game. He's knocking down threes all over the place, crossing up Drew Holiday, making him go on left, making him use a map, map quest, or Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever it is. Drew Holiday still couldn't fight Charles Harbour, Charles Harbour last night. Still couldn't. Still an APB for Alfred. I mean, and he's getting to the free throw line. He's he's also defending when he needs to. When they need a bucket, he gets it down a stretch. He's been clutch. But let's get back to De'Aaron Fox, who was the most improved guard in the whole NBA last year. Really became an elevating upcoming superstar. De'Aaron Fox is probably the fastest player in the NBA. He know, he's he been really improving on his three-point shot. Him and Sabonis, that combo has been really repenting out. But you remember, when they first got drafted, Darren Fox and Tyrus Halliburton was on the same team. Obviously, having those two on the same team wouldn't, wouldn't work out. So the situation is bad for both of them. And they're both panning out and elevating their franchise to a whole nother level. Both of them. But personally, for me, y'all know who I'm going to take. Tyrese Halliburton. Because look the pieces I could put around him. I could put Zion. I could put Brandon Ingram. I could... Put him, put Tyrese on a Pelicans right now. They'll be number one seed in the West right now. Number one. Put him on the Pelicans right now. Now, Darren Fox. Again, to me, he's a scoring point guard. Tyrese is a pure point guard who facilitates that everybody, makes all the players around him better, and doesn't turn the ball over. Darren Fox turns the ball over a little more than Tyrese Halliburton. And Tyrus Harlan is a better three-point shooter than De'Aaron Fox. So I, I'm taking Tyrese. I'm thinking of the place I could put around him, right? Like, I could put Chet around him. I could put Anthony Edwards around him. Yo, come on, man. Imagine Tyrese with Anthony Edwards. Imagine Tyrese on Miami right now. On Miami. Imagine Tyrese. If he if when the Miami went to the finals, if Tyrese on this team, they would at least win seven games. Six or seven versus Denver Nuggets. I'm guarantee y'all. Tyrese has that bigger impact in the game more than De'Aaron Fox, in my opinion. Now I want y'all to comment down below who would y'all take and give me your reasons why y'all would take. Give me valid reasons. I definitely I'm gonna respond to all y'all comments. Like I said. Tyrese is elevates the game more. He's he's bringing more excitement to an arena. He's bringing more personality. Like he doesn't want to lose. Same during Darren Fox. Darren Fox is just more scoring. Yes, him and Sabonis a great combo, but does he really make players around him better than Tyrese? I don't believe Obi Toppin would be balling like this if Darren Fox was on that team. It's just me. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank y'all for, thank you for over 400 subscribers. Give me to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I appreciate y'all tuning in for these videos. Be a bold, Will, and I'm